Oh, you're going to love a PSG soap opera, oh, chapter 73. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, this is what PSG, yeah, is, uh, Kylian Mbappe had to say after that defeat against Bayern Munich. Our players have to be in good health for the return leg. Everyone needs to eat and sleep well. They're not comfortable when we play attacking football. There is room to qualify. Forget the last bit. Focus on the need to eat and sleep well because mm. then... 24 hours after that quote, hey! there is Neymar uh, in McDonald's. Uh, 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 this, uh, uh, he was playing poker that day, went to uh, McDonald's for a snack. Oh, you got to love it. Now, this is what Gaultier had to say about it all. You can't, and I'm not going to associate Killian's statement, the words he had in the dressing room, with a picture of Ney in a fast food restaurant. I've spoken to Ney, I told him what I thought. Ney has the right in his day of recovery to rest. He's passionate about poker. He has the right to play poker. And then I told him what I thought about that picture that came out. And that's between me and him. But I'm convinced that there is no link huh? between Killian's statement and the photo <laughs> that came out. Oh, where do we start? Frank, of course that photo came out for a reason. You know, Neymar, you can control that, surely. A picture of you in McDonald's, you're posing. You know that it can only end in one thing, and that is the publicity that it's inevitably going to get. Of course, of course not, and uh, and uh, that's what maybe was looking for. But I don't really care, you know. I mean, I never liked people judging my private life, you know, when I was a football player. I think I have, the only where, time where I have to be judged is on the field. Now, the problem is when you are that bad, uh, as Neymar has been so far, for, I mean, lately, I would say, and after the World Cup, you should show a little bit low, low profile. It's what I think. And that guy seems to not care about what people think about his life. And uh, teasing a little bit at the same time, uh, Kylian Mbappe. Yes, it was, I'm pretty sure that Kylian Mbappe was saying that to Neymar. And I'm pretty sure the picture was sent to, Neymar, to, uh, to Mbappe. So that's how we are now in the Paris Saint-Germain dressing room. Good luck, Christophe. Yeah. Christophe mm. Gauthier. Good luck until the end of the season. Im imagine signing up for this job, Christophe Gauthier. And, and all the challenges that are out there to be the PSG manager. That at some point, you knew that you had to come to a press conference and answer questions about one of your players playing poker and going to McDonald's. And that somehow that's not related to what your other star player said about sleeping well and eating well. This is beyond the scope of the job of a manager. This is the last thing he should be concerned with. Mm. This is high school sort of stuff. This is juvenile stuff, mm. and yet it's happening in, in a very public forum in one of the most and one of the highest profile teams in the world because there's high profile players involved. And this guy has to manage this this guys as if they're kids. And they're not kids anymore. These are adults, and they continue to behave in ways that you just do not understand that this is part of my job. As a manager of this football club, I have to address this? Apparently so. But he is the manager, Pablo. Kylian Mbappe is not the manager. Mm. So Mbappe coming out and making these sort of comments doesn't really help anything, does it? In a sense that if you've got a problem with Neymar playing poker or eating McDonald's, you take him to a side in the dressing room, don't you? You don't tell the media. No, of course, it doesn't help, and, and I think Mbappé should know that Neymar has been playing football for 10, 15 years now, and he knows why he's good, why he's bad. I mean, the thing with footballers or, um, I don't know, people who does different sports, is you know, that's... I mean, in, if, in a day off, you can go and play poker, you can go McDonald's, fast food. I mean, many times I went for fish and chips in England, I mean, oh, in a day mm, off. Yeah. If you mm. do that very often, of course, that's oh. bad. But oh, what no. I would say, mm. what, no, but <laughs> what I would say is be careful with social media and stuff like this because, I mean, you're coming from a big defeat in the Champions League and then if you go out and you play poker and you go out and, and have a picture uh, having McDonald's, you will upset people. Uh, you will let people uh, talk about those things. I think Mbappé knows that Neymar doesn't, he knows what he's doing. And, and, and as a teammate, I, I respect all my teammates. Do what you want, unless, mm. but then when, when we are on the field, when we are in training, 
I want you to do 100%. But like I say, if you put picture of your lifestyle after a bad defeat and stuff, you will upset people at the club, fans, and could be some teammates. So that's why maybe Mbappé came out saying we should know that uh, we need to eat well, rest, and just focus on the next game. But Neymar, he, he know what he's doing. Yeah, Neymar's not going to hear those quotes, Don, and go, oh, God, thank goodness <laughs> Killian told me that. Now I'm going to go home, have a lovely sleep, have a cup of milk, and go just... It, it just... It, you know, you know you're just, just, just dangling that, that kind of carrot, ready for it all to kick off, and inevitably it has. I know, and it tells you the relationship between well, Mbappe and Neymar. It tells you everything you need to know. There's no relationship there whatsoever. What I would say, if you're eating McDonald's for a professional athlete, it's not going to do you any harm in terms of the long run. I think it's more the sure. image. You know, it's like it's either Neymar can't read the room by having the picture. It's not so much eating the food, he can't read the room, or he's just not interested. You imagine this, Stevie, in your Liverpool days? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have happened. Mm. Well, it wouldn't have happened. And, we, and we, we sit here year after year trying to figure out on the football field why PSG don't win the big games. Well, here's your answer. You know, there's, there's never been a dressing room ever that's not had people in it who chip away at each other. Yeah. Every dressing room has it. But when it's your supposed two superstars <laughs> out of three who are chipping away at each other, no wonder when it comes to a game when it gets tough that they don't stand behind each other and fight for each other. Because that's what you have to do. The best teams in the world have, have gone through games where the opposition are just dominating them. It happens to everybody. And it's how you cope with that. Mm. And you can't cope with it if your team's not together. And this team is clearly not together. And so they're not going to end up winning the Champions League and they won't do it again this year. Well, what's Messi make of this, do you reckon? Is he just sat at home looking at his World Cup going, no, it's been a good year. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Pablo? Uh, I, 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 oh, 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 Frank's gone. Oh, Pablo's gone for the moment. Go on, go on Frank. Oh, uh, no, ju just one, one thing, you know, comes out of my mind, you know, where uh, I see that and I imagine myself, you know, on, uh, on Kylian Mbappé fit, seeing after the game a loss at Chelsea, saying to Craig Burley, Denise Wise, Marcus, uh, Steve Clark, and some others, guys, you know, we have to eat, we have to eat healthy, sleep well. <laughs> they would have said, you know what, shut up, Frenchie. Come out with, uh, come out with us, you know, we're going to have a beer, you know, we're going to... And, go, and going with Gianluca Vialli saying, you know, go, let's have a cigarette together. <laughs> that was another time. Don't bother. That was really a bother time. I was smoking and I smoked for 15 years during my career and I became champion of the world. We don't care what we do. As Don said, eating McDonald's, you know, one day in your day off, you know, is not going to do anything to your body. So Kylian shouldn't tease Neymar. Neymar shouldn't answer. We are, as uh, I think Ali said, in a high school, you know, discussion right now. You know, those players should grow up a little bit. And uh, if they want to party, let's party. We're going to judge them on the field. And so far, it's not very good what we see. In an ideal world, what you would have loved to have seen from both Neymar and Kylian Mbappe is that if indeed there is a picture at a fast food restaurant, both of them are eating the burger. Oh, that'd be See? Hey, or the both way. of them that's are exactly. playing poker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> if, indeed, no, if indeed the concept of a team being together, that's what you would have okay. seen. Okay. Um, I just, uh, uh, pa so Pablo's that. back <laughs> with us. Pablo, you imagine if this is in the Argentinian dressing room, Messi's getting everyone together to galvanize them, to say it's us against the world, as we saw in the World Cup. Does he have that sort of same passion for PSG to get Mbappe, to get Neymar together, to try and get them on the same page to achieve their goals? Well, I hope so, because uh, he knows that uh, he got a big chance to win a Champions League. Uh, we'll see about his future as well. Uh, we saw his dad saying that he's not but, but under position. Pablo, do you think you know him? Does he have Barcelona? the personality to I mean, step in, to get involved yeah, with this? But can I, can I he mean, be bothered? Yeah, but uh, he, he, his character, we, we saw many clips of Messi uh, doing a great speech before the game. And I, and I see that to Mbappé. I, I, could, I could see uh, Messi going to Mbappé on Neymar saying, lads, 
Uh, forget all those uh, things. Let's, let's win the Champions League. It's a big chance for all of them. They're all top players. And, uh, and they know. They've always been playing in big competitions. And, uh, and I know Messi has that type of personality to, to tell Neymar or, or Mbappé to do the right thing. And they, they will listen to him, for sure. So uh, uh, I, I'm, I know that he would do it 100%. We, we thought that when Neymar and when Messi went there. Yeah. It was the first thing I thought of. Do you know what? This could be great news for Neymar. They were so good together at Barca. OK, he wants to be the big guy. Goes away, doesn't quite work out. Now he's got his mate to play with him. That connection's there again. Not just on the field, but off the field. Yeah. Well, that never happened. So no. There was no, no chance of this one getting fixed by Messi either. Uh, last word on all of this, Frank. Obviously, Neymar's been linked to a move to Chelsea. Would huh? you take him? <laughs> don't know what he said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I really... I don't know what to think about that. Yeah, I mean, McDonald's and near Stamford Bridge. Let me just about it. <laughs> we are looking for a striker. <laughs> a striker. That's, and I'm sure that Neymar is not a striker. So don't ask me if it's a good news or not. There you go. <laughs> and if he's going to serve the dressing room. I don't think so. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.